Today's music theory lesson, vocal ranges. Hey guys, today we're going to do a little short lesson on uh, vocal ranges. And a lot of people have come to me and ask me, you know, what are the ranges of vocals? So how would I know if I'm a soprano, alto, tenor, or bass? So the first thing I figured we'd do is to actually look at what the word actually means first. Well, the word soprano basically means above. You know, you can kind of get your superior or above, and that's basically what it means. Okay, then we have a thing called mezzo-soprano. All right, and mezzo basically means middle or middle soprano okay then we have alto and alto means simply means high comes from the latin word cantus for you scholars out there and then we have the word tenor and tenor means simply to hold and in the early, uh, I guess, Middle Ages, you know, the melody was based off the tenor and all the other parts were sort of centered around it. And it was this main part and it comes from the Latin word tenere. All right. And of course, we've got bass. And bass comes from this word called basso. We also get our word basement from it, which means basically low. All right. So we've got these parts, soprano, mezzo-soprano. Alto, oh, I forgot to mention contralto, and contra, you know, means against, means against the alto. Then we have tenor, and we have bass. And for you sticklers out there, there's another little one here called baritone. All right, and it means basically deep or heavy. And the Greek word is baritonus. All right, so, but for all practical purposes for this video, we're mainly gonna be dealing with the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. Hey guys, we're back. So let's talk about the ranges of these um, vocal parts. Or So we have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, all right? Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to deal with the ranges as regard to a gospel singer, R&B, or pop singer. And we really won't go into the classical ranges. And these classical ranges are typically much higher, especially for the female singers, so the alto or and, and soprano. So let's deal with just the gospel uh, for now. Now let's establish where middle C is. This is middle C, all right, also called C4, all right? And on some electronic keyboards, it's called C3, but the standard, it is C4. All right, so the soprano, if you're coming to me and auditioning for my praise team or choir, you would be expected to sing this range from a middle C to at least an E and preferably an F. All right. That's a great sounding soprano. And I would love for it to be nice and full and chest tone. All right. No falsetto. All right. 
for a for an alto, I expect you to sing and everyone else in the world rather from a G that's right below the middle C to the C that's an octave above the middle C. All right, so let's go back. Soprano. All right. Alto. All right. For tenor, we want our tenors to be able to sing the C, at least a C below middle C, to at least a G above the middle C. And some tenors can even go up to the A. And those are, are really great tenors, okay? All right, for bass. And I usually don't find basses in gospel choirs, but they you do have them. And a bass should be able to sing, at least from this low G to this middle C. Now, as a side note, choir directors, uh, I would... To get a richer sound, I would recommend that you have your bass parts, if you have them, sing the alto part. A lot of times, choir directors will say, we have bass, so sing the soprano part an octave lower. But you get a richer sound if you have the bass singing the alto part an octave lower. Just a little tidbit, all right? So let's review again. Let's review. Soprano range. From a middle C to this E, and really that F for alto, the G right below middle C, to the C above middle C, the tenor from this C, low C below middle C, all the way to this G above middle C, and if you got one that can do A, great. For bass, at least from this middle C to this particular G. Now some basses can go, even go even lower. But these are some practical ranges for our soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. And the reason why I did this video it's because sometimes people will come to you and say, hey, I sing soprano when they really sing alto and so on and so forth. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. All right. Peace out.